What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Siri Shortcuts is an awesome new feature that was just introduced with iOS 12. And today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a walkthrough of exactly what Shortcuts is, how it works, and I'll also walk you through creating your first custom shortcut. And before we get started, I just wanna say if this video helps you better understand shortcuts in any way at all, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe for more useful iOS tutorials like this one. I will also have a video coming out in the near future showing off my 10 favorite Siri shortcuts and also download links for you to download them and add them to your library. All right, so let's get started. So first off, what exactly is Shortcuts? So Siri Shortcuts is essentially Workflow. Workflow is an application I used in the past and then Apple bought them and turned it into Shortcuts. And in layman's terms, the application basically just allows you to set an action or actions to automate a specific task or tasks. And well, since it's pretty hard to explain, let me just show you a simple example of a very simple shortcut that I created a couple days ago. Taking off, so basically what I did is I just told Siri a custom command, which you can set up and I'll show you how to do that later. And it performed the actions that I told Siri to do when I say that certain phrase. So for instance, this one was taking off. So that means, you know, on an airplane, if we're about to take off, I'm going to want to turn on airplane mode, turn on low power mode, and also do not disturb. And then when you get to your destination, instead of manually turning all those things on, you could just tell Siri landing. And you can see it turns everything right back on like it was in the first place. So like I said, that is a very, very simple, but very useful shortcut you can set up. So that should give you a very basic understanding of shortcuts, but these can get very, very advanced. You can create tons of actions and triggers and if then statements as well. And the cool thing is I don't necessarily have to talk to Siri to run a shortcut either. I mean, it is called shortcuts or Siri shortcuts, but you do not have to ever talk to Siri to run any shortcut. You can access shortcuts from the Siri suggestion. So if I start typing in landing, you could see it pops up almost immediately right there. If we go all the way over to my widgets, you can see I have the most popular shortcuts that I have right there and we can click show more to show all of them here as well. So I could just simply press taking off and it will run it just like that. Press landing and it'll run it just like that without talking to Siri. You can also run them from the share sheet right here inside of Safari or photos, wherever you use the share sheet, you can see shortcuts right there. And then you can select whichever one you want. And then of course, inside of the shortcuts application, you can press on any of these to run them. And you can even add an icon to the home screen for a shortcut if you want, if it's something you use on a very consistent basis. So basically when you go into the application, you only have two tabs. You have the library where you have all of your shortcuts right here. You can search them if you have a ton. And if you want to move them around or delete them, just click on edit. It goes into wiggle mode and you just basically can move them around whenever you want. And this will help if you want them to show up in a different place inside of your widgets. And then to to delete them, you just simply tap on it and then click on the trash button up there. You can also duplicate them if you want to. And then if you go on over to gallery, this will have a bunch of pre-made shortcuts in here, which is pretty useful. You can see you have heading to work, home ETA, say cheese. You have all these different ones right here for your morning routine, for your music, for just quick shortcuts like speed dial. There are a lot of shortcuts in here, but there are just going to be so many more by this time next year, I'm sure. This is still so new. So there's still, you know, a lot to be added to this gallery with time. So let me just show you guys how to build an actual shortcut. I'm going to show you how I built the taking off and the landing, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more of an advanced shortcut. So if you want to create a shortcut, you're just going to go down right here where it says create shortcut. And since I don't want to create a duplicate, I'm just going to show you how I did it with the taking off and the landing since it is very simple. So we're going to click the three dots to edit. And basically all I did was set airplane mode. So I just went down here to search and search for airplane mode. And you can see set airplane mode right there. And then I did the same for low power mode and do not disturb. And it was really that simple. And then all I had to do is click on these dots up here in the top right and I put in a name I set an icon and then I have the Siri phrase so it says run the shortcut with your voice by adding it to Siri and again you don't have to do this but I did just because it's pretty cool and then of course you do want to have it as show in widget because the widgets panel is very useful for running shortcuts and you can see right there you also have add to home screen share and also show and share sheet which I would recommend not doing show and share sheet unless it's something you actually use inside of Safari or inside of photos or something like that and landing was pretty much the exact same I just duplicated it and turned those toggles to off so like I said those are very simple shortcuts, but now I'm going to build a little bit more of a complex shortcut so you guys can, you know, follow along and get a better understanding of how this works. So I'm going to go to create shortcut. And before I even get started, I'm just going to name it. So I want to have a shortcut that will show me in a pop-up window how many days there are until Christmas. 
days until Christmas. There you go. I can set up the icon and add it to Siri later, but for now, I just want the title of the shortcut to be showing up in the top. So we have days until Christmas. So where do we start? So of course, if we want to know the amount of days until Christmas, we need to pull the date that it is currently. So for this, we're just going to search for date and we're going to click on date right here. And we're going to make sure that current date is selected because we are trying to get our current date. And since we don't care about the time and all that, we're going to actually format this date. So it's very easy to read. So we don't want the time to be in there at all. And we want the date format to be short instead of something very long. And so once we have the current date, we need to add that as a variable. And what this is doing is essentially just setting this as a value so we can use it and call on it later. So we're going to name this variable. Let's just say today. You can name it whatever you want. So now that we have the current date, we have it formatted to be very short and easy to read, and we have the variable set. We now move on to the next step, which is adding in the actual date that we're wondering how many days there are until, which is Christmas. And it's gonna be very simple and similar to what we just did. So I'm just gonna to go to add the date. And instead of current date this time, we're gonna do a specified date. And I'm just going to put in December 25th. We're going to format that date once again to make sure the time is not in there. And we are going to set the variable once again. And this time we'll just do, we'll just do Xmas. So it's easy. All right. So now we have the two dates set up. Now we need to know how much time is in between these two dates. So we're just going to search for time and go to get time between dates. You can also get here, of course, by going to the calendar category. And we're going to have the get time from just set to right now. And we're going to do this in days. All right. So now we have everything set up. And the last thing we need to do is have an alert pop up when we run the shortcut. So we're just going to search for alert and we're going to go to show alert. And for here, we're going to set the title. All right. So the title is days to Christmas and we'll have the alert show our time between dates until there are time between dates until Christmas. And we don't really need a cancel button so we can deselect that. Let's run this to make sure it actually runs properly. And you can see we do get the pop up right there that says days to Christmas. There are 96 days until Christmas. So notice how it says 96. So now I know I need to go in there and actually add in days. So it makes more sense. Let's run it again. And you can see now it makes more sense. So once we have that, let's click on done. And now we can go over to our widgets whenever we're wondering how many days there are till Christmas tap on it and it will simply show you right there. There are 96 days until Christmas. And just to show you another very useful shortcut, calculate tip. So if we go to this and we enter in our bill, like if you're going out to eat at a restaurant, let's say the bill is 6525. Okay. And now I have it set up so you can select how much you would want to tip. What percent do you want to tip? So let's say 18%. And then it will show you your exact tip amount and also what your total will be after adding the tip. So this is extremely useful and definitely saves time so you don't have to use a calculator or anything like that. And this one's not actually too advanced and I'll show you exactly how I did that. So let's click on the three dots right here. You can see I have an ask for input for what's the bill and we have the input type set as number. Then we have a menu pop up right here. So it shows all these different selections right here and you can of course add new items whenever you want to. And then we have the percentages set as decimals for easy calculation with within the calculator application. So basically 0.2 for 20%, 0 0.12 for 12%, etc. cetera. And then after we have the menu set up, we will have a variable for bill amount. And then we have a calculation with an operation and an operand. So we have the operand set up as the percent that you're tipping. And just to make it easy, just like we did with the date, we have a format for the number. So it's only two decimal places. And then we have the calculation for the bill plus the tip. So of course we use addition here and we use the operand for bill amount. We format that and then we have the alert showing. And if you have any questions, about anything I set up in here, just let me know in a comment below. And like I said, this is just a first video I'm making on shortcuts. This is just the simple video I'm making on shortcuts. I will make a more advanced video if more people want to know how to create more advanced shortcuts. But for now, I'm just going to stick to showing you things like this. And another thing you guys can do just to spawn some ideas for creating a new shortcut would be just to go to create a new shortcut and then just kind of browse through the different things you can do, like add new event, add new reminder. You can keep going down. You can see contacts, passes the specified contacts to the next action. You could kind of just look at all these log health sample. You could basically log like when you drink caffeine or when you drink water or when you eat something, you can add that to the health application. You could do things with the music, with photos. You could just kind of look through all of the different options in here by category. And basically that could just spawn new ideas for you for maybe something that you want to add as a shortcut, especially if you're really big on adding things to your calendar and things like that. You could maybe have a shortcut that turns your phone in do not disturb mode when it sees that you have a calendar 
calendar event for a meeting. That's just an idea, but you can kind of look through here and maybe it'll spawn new ideas in your head. Now, another cool thing about shortcuts is that third party applications do support shortcuts and some of them actually have an add to Siri button inside of the application. Now, not every application has this, but I'm sure that a lot more will be gaining support for shortcuts after they see how popular it becomes here with iOS 12. So yeah, guys, that is essentially Siri shortcuts. You've seen some useful shortcuts here and hopefully you now have a better understanding of exactly what shortcuts are and how incredibly useful they can be on a day to day basis. Shortcuts really just make your life so much easier, especially when you do things on a daily or even a weekly basis. And like I said, I will be making another video showing off my 10 favorite Siri shortcuts along with links so that you can download them and add them to your library. So anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it did make things a little bit more clear as far as shortcuts go. If it did, I really would appreciate a thumbs up on the video as well as a subscription. If you aren't already, I will be making a lot of videos on iOS 12 in the future as well as the new iPhones and all that fun stuff. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.